School board members in several districts came together to talk about, and in some cases, alter back to school plans. We had meetings in Pinellas, Polk, Sarasota, and Manatee counties. Chip Osowski was in Manatee County, where the school board voted late tonight to move forward with the superintendent's plan. The plan approved here by school board members means that teachers will report back to class on August 3rd, students on August 17th. But some teachers believe this is all happening much too fast. I've had a lot of family members get it recently. We don't know the effects of it long term. And I think until we have more information and until the community as a whole gets the numbers lower, we need to be safe. Julia Backus was one of many Manatee teachers who drove around the school district headquarters beeping their horns, hoping school board members would revise the proposed plan. Our community is not practicing safe social distancing or masking. We are not in our community. And so then to put us in the schools where, boom, you know, so many people are going to be confined in one area, it is not safe. If I had children in school today, knowing what I know with my background, I wouldn't be sending them to school. Board member Dr. Scott hopes expressing concern, but also realizing his responsibility. Uh, delaying it any more than we've already delayed it is just delaying the inevitable. And, and I do think we need to get the students in and we need to get the, our, our staff together. The plan gives parents of students in every grade three options. Choose e-learning, go to class full time, or choose a hybrid model where students go to class two days and learn online three days. Board member Charlie Kennedy told fellow board members he also thinks the 17th is too soon. I can't vote for something that, put, that puts kids back in school on the 17th, at least as, as of where we stand. After hours of discussion, the board voted three to two to move forward with the plan. I spoke with the superintendent after tonight's meeting. She told me that she and other district leaders are doing the best that they can, and she realizes there will be some teachers that won't report back to class right away, and there will be some parents that elect not to send their students back to class. In Bradenton, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.